What's going on everybody? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. A uh, lot of you have been asking me, what are my mods? I know I've shown them before in the past. I have updated some mods or gained some new mods. Um, what's up, Hunter? So, these are my mods. Uh, like I've said before, on the left, over here, these are all the mods that I have subscribed to. They're not necessarily active. Um, all the mods over here are my active mods. Um, I'm not going to go over and say each one because as you can see, there's a whole list of them here. So, what's up Drama City? And how's it going, Swan? So, hey, load a gun, what's up? So, here are my active mods. Um, th this way you guys know what stream it is that I started off with all my mods. That way you can pause it and, you know, you can do whatever you gotta do to try to get the mods, whatever ones you want. So, uh, so these are my active mods. I'm just gonna scroll down through them slowly here. Gonna take a little while because I do have quite a few. I just got the new torque curve for the Cubbins engines. I just got all these so that way when we have those trucks and we get a Cummins engine or something like that, we'll have that mod in. And I just got this mod here, the new mountain textures. But uh, as you can see, these are these are everything. Here's the uh, the mega pack. That's the accessory pack that everybody was asking me about where you can get the odds and ends for cabin features, uh, cabin accessories. Um, so yeah, these are everything I'm going to try to go down through slowly that way like I said at a later time if you want to try to search for one you can so we just roll on down through as we are about halfway down through now go on down no boundaries that gets rid of all the X's and arrows on the map kind of nice and, uh, yes, I did take your guys' advice when I asked you, should we get rid of the traffic mod? I deactivated it. I am no longer going to be running the traffic mod. I'll still have it for a later date if I choose to use it again. But, uh, yeah. This is my Peterbilt 389 modified version 2.0.9.1. That's the, that's the Peterbilt 389 that I am currently using now. Yes, this is a lot of mods. So, there you guys go. This is the very bottom of the list. So, like I said, at a later time, if you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and play it back, pause it, and search for whatever mod that you are looking for. So, yeah, I've seen this one. I might, I might not. I don't know. Let me go ahead and confirm the changes since I did change a few things. And let's continue with the game. Um, it is getting kind of late. We are still at, well, I, I, I went from the, the yard where we dropped off the last trailer last night and I ended up going to the mechanic shop. So that's where we're at now. I, uh, got some more lights put on the truck. I was playing around with the frame, like the, the wheels set up and stuff, thinking that it would change the size of the tank of fuel, but it, it didn't doesn't change it whatsoever and I also changed the inside as you can see we no longer have our companion it was just kind of annoying after a while of her just looking at her phone so uh work was all right I mean it's just another day another day another 80 cents <laughs> all right so like I said here you guys go we are now currently at a dealership where a mechanic shop was at and I just sort of parked my truck here just randomly but it is getting kind of late. It's about 6 o'clock. A little after 6. I checked the job market here. And there's nothing really out of Elko. Because I'm trying to get stuff that's 25000 or more. So I'm going to sleep early. And uh, see if we can get anything better out of uh, Elko here. So let's hop back in the truck. 
And let's get some sleep. And hope for the best. Alright. So let's check this out here. Hopefully it's something worthwhile. There's 20,000. 21,000. 21,000. Alright, so it's, it's a little bit better, but it's not the best. So we got some clothes heading down to San Diego. San Diego. What's up, MG? So, we're gonna take these doubles here of uh, clothes down to San Diego here. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be anything that we can pick up on the way, but uh, yeah. I don't think we've pulled these trailers yet, so that's gonna be something different. Let's go ahead and hop on in here. See if my track IR is working good. There we go. Park and break off, and let's get going. So yeah, work was uh, work today. It was actually a pretty easy day. I have no complaints. little guy here uh, we got a half tank of fuel so we will need to stop for some fuel eventually here but I think I remember seeing that we're still good for just a little over a thousand miles but that's not pulling anything so I don't know how it's gonna be once we start pulling this uh, All right. this trailer up banana cakes thank you for the subscription welcome to the channel be up here around the corner. Sorry, hey, uh, headphones has a little volume thing on it, and I was wondering why I could have my volume on my computer completely cranked up, and I was barely hearing anything, and here, that little scroll wheel on my, uh, my headphones was turned down. The Moses. Uh, I'd have to say blue is my favorite color. Okay, where's there it is. And as you can see, guys, the new that new mountain texture thing also changes the ground around here. Look at the ground now. It's all. I mean, it's kind of a 2D quality, but it's it's different. Alright, so let's get on in here. Let's get this, uh... There we go. What's up, Captain Patty? Alright, so our trailers are right there in front of us, off to the left. So, as like I said, I did get rid of you know, our little travel companion, but got us a map and uh, a cooler. Try to turn this thing around. I don't know if we can back on up into that or not. We'll try. I think we're just gonna miss, though. They're just, uh... Some $30 pair of generic headphones I got from Walmart. Nothing spectacular. I know I'm going in kind of crooked here, ain't I? Let me get this thing straightened up.
So yeah, like I said, I did end up getting rid of the traffic mod. So, shouldn't have too many issues, if any at all, with the uh, traffic from now on. Alright, so, like I said, we are currently in Elko. And uh, we are going to be heading to San Diego, carrying two trailers full of clothes, which is 30,500 pounds. It is currently 4.30 a.m. on Monday, and we are expected to be there between 10.39 a.m. and 5.19 p.m. on Tuesday, and it's paying just a little over $20,000. What's up, Peter? All right, I need to turn left out of here. Wow, this feels weird having an empty road. Kind of nice, actually. It's all right, Nick. You're not too late. I uh, I just went over the mods and stuff before. I mean, we just literally pulled out of the yard here with our uh, load, so I just went over the mods and stuff that everybody was asking to see. And Nightbot will make an appearance. Don't worry, load a gun. being able to just move around and stuff without having to worry about this traffic. Yeah, that traffic was crazy, to say the least. I mean, it was nice, it was, it was realistic to see all the traffic there, but for it to be doing what it was doing to us, I mean... Clearly, I'm in the lane just driving just like this, and out of nowhere, they just turn straight into us. It's like, are you serious? You, you can't wait till you either pass me or I get past you? But, it is what it is. Kind of nice though. Uh, why do you want to move to Mexico? Yeah, well, it's also the time of day. I mean, we just gotta get used. To, we're just so used to seeing traffic everywhere. Now this, it's basically right where like how the game usually is without the traffic mod. We're just not used to seeing the roads this clear. Man, those lights really light up the road underneath our truck, don't they? zigzag all over the place and uh, not have to worry about hitting cars. <laughs> Except for that one. We back in the truck. Oop, I need to slow down. No, I don't. Speed limit's 80. I'm good. game I could not see the rear oh the rear view mirrors so I moved my seat back then I could see them yeah I mean well I don't really want to see them when I'm like this because I can just sort of just because I got the track IR it's easy for me just to sort of turn my head a little bit and bam right there's the mirror
and then also for like my other mirror I can just turn my head like that like in real life so searching the mods on Steam and I found a traffic jam you should try it out a trap I don't want a traffic jam then you just won't go anywhere I was thinking about being a coca-cola truck driver when I'm on huh I mean you can as long as you got your CDL I mean you can drive for whoever or whatever a Starbucks CEO. Hey, give me some money there. Oops, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Glad we weren't carrying a 97,000 uh, pound load there. That would have been kind of harsh to try to stop. Yeah, there's some cars down there, guys. I mean, we're just back to what the vanilla game gives you. I mean, there's maybe I can find some other traffic mod that isn't so crazy. I'll uh, I'll find some other ones and I'll test them out and see how they are. What the heck is that, David? How's it going, Iron Man? Uh, yeah, the, the GPS mod for the uh, Google Maps. Yeah, I like it too. It just, it just looks a whole lot more realistic. That, and I also like how it's in the dash, like in real life too, instead of, or not in the dash, but on the window like that. It's just right there in sight. I don't have to worry about missing it now. You guys able to hear me over the game okay it just seems like the game sounds kind of louder maybe that's just because I was also messing with the volume on my headset Deleting the mods stop the amount of police cars that pop. There are mods to... There is a mod I've been seeing for fewer police spawns. So if you want fewer police in the game, then there is a mod for that on the Steam Workshop. Uh, have you been out of the country, not military related? Yes, I have. Uh, I went on two cruises in my life down to the Caribbean and um, also when I was younger our my family went on a fishing trip uh, it was one week out of the summer we went up to Canada my uncle used to have a cabin up there and we used to go for a week fishing trip up at this uh, cabin and uh, it was actually pretty nice. I mean, the only electricity you had was for the major appliances and uh, running water. The only phone you had was the phone that was in the cabin, and that was just a single line going to the main dock and other cabins around you. And 
I mean, there's no cell phones really back then that when, you know, during that time of us going up there. So it was, it was a nice relaxing week whenever we went up there. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to live in the Bahamas or the Caribbean. It's nice to visit, but living there, I don't know. They get a lot of, I mean, look at these past, you know, hurricanes. They just wipe through there. I mean... It's hard telling what could happen if you live there. You'd just be part of that mess. I really wish I knew what was causing that mirror to flicker like that. I have. I could have swore I got rid of the uh, FOV mod for the mirrors. Like I said, it could just be the the truck mod itself. I don't know. Because I don't think it was doing that with the other 389 that we had. Ready to do some passing here. There's uh, can't tell if there's a traffic, any traffic coming around that corner or not. Kind of nice that uh, there's no real traffic to speak of because when you get behind vehicles like this, it's gonna be easier for us to pass. <laughs> what I would put a Mountain Dew uh, can there, but they don't have Mountain Dew. There's some open road here. Let's get our momentum back up. Maybe we can get some. Well, it looks like they're speeding up now, too. Go figure. All right, we're going to try because we're not going the speed limit yet. Now we are. Let's see if we can get two of these down. Oh, perfect timing. Here comes a little town. <laughs> uh, they don't have Dr. Pepper either. Uh, what's up, T? I'm going to call you T so that way I don't mess up your uh, last name there. Uh, we're going to stop here for some fuel. I just thought about that. We're down to a quarter tank. We're just going to stop here. How did that trailer just go through the stop sign? Uh, what mod is what, T? Stop Division! I don't really care for Coca-Cola Division. I like Pepsi a little bit better than Coca-Cola, to be honest. Oh man, are we going to make this turn? Nope. Oh, good thing there's no traffic. We'd be uh, getting honked at left and right here. Hopefully our trailers clear that corner. Uh, no, I'm not in Texas, T. And, uh, what mod are you asking about, T? Man, our trailer is pretty much almost out in the road, isn't it? I just realized that. Whoops. 
Uh, no, this is not Coast to Coast. Uh, the only mods I use and... Or the only mods I get and use are actually off the Steam Workshop. I don't use any third-party mods. Like, third-party websites, I don't use them. Alright, David. Thank you for stopping out. Hope to see you later or in the next stream. Alright, so we are all fueled up and ready to go. Should be good to go to make the rest of this trip. Go after this blue truck here. This is a fun game, T. I'm not, you know, I mean, it's very addicting. I know I say that all the time, but this is a really fun game. And a lot of people are putting it down right now because there's like, they keep saying there's not enough content and this and that. And there is. There's plenty of content. If you, as long as you don't use mods to unlock any, like, because there's mods out there that people, you know, people made and stuff to where everything is unlocked and. All roads are discovered, all cities discovered, and it's like, just play the game how it's supposed to be played, and you'll be playing it for, you know, look how long I've been playing it. I've been playing this game ever since the game came out, and I still have achievements to unlock. I still haven't maxed out everything, you know, everything's still, you know, I haven't unlocked everything. So there's there's plenty of content to the game. They're just tired of going the same roads over and over again, which, yeah, it can get kind of boring, but you just got to make sure you take different trips every time and stop taking the same route back and forth. Uh, everything that's computer-related uh, for graphics card and all that stuff, I believe, is down in the description. All my hardware that I use, microphone, steering wheel, webcam, and I believe my computer information, it's all down down in the uh, description. We're catching up to this guy pretty quick. wait for this hill. I was going to pass them, but I decided against that. No head on collisions. Why are you hitting your brakes? There's nothing stopping in front of you. Now the AI still likes to troll us, but it's not so much because there isn't that much traffic anymore. <laughs> That's alright, the New Mexico DLC will be out shortly. Alright, buddy. Drag race to the corner. Let's hope nothing's coming. We're good. Don't try that at home or out in the road in your personal vehicles because that was dangerous. <laughs> Try to get some road down now. Yeah, I know, but they you gotta think about the content that they're putting into these DLCs. I mean they're putting in a lot of time and effort into trying to make these DLCs looking as realistic as possible for like all the landmarks and stuff like that. And make sure mountains are where they're supposed to be and so, I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks that they're not putting out DLCs like they are with Euro Truck. But at the same time as when they do come out, you're just like in awe, like, wow, you know? 
so there's some pros and cons to having to wait for the new DLC packages you just gotta stay patient and just enjoy what you have and I'm sure that eventually There'll be some other DLCs where they're just gonna... I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. They'll probably just be like, hey, you know, here's a freebie or hey, here's here's the next DLC, you know, but it's only gonna be like two or three dollars. So... I'm staying optimistic about it. It's all you can do. crossing into California here shortly. I don't know how far, how much further we have in Nevada before we cross down into California. K100, which which one's that? I haven't heard of the K100, but then again, I haven't gone through the Kenworth dealer to take a look at all the trucks. Or is that is that a different mod or something, David? How you doing today, Kyle? Um, I might have to check it out. I don't know. It's going to be a while before we get to it because, like I said, uh, the garage we have right now out of Flagstaff, we're going to load that garage up with nothing but Peterbilt 389s, and then the next garage we buy will be all Kenworth 900s. And we are heading out of Elko, where we finished up last night's stream, and we're heading down to San Diego, California. Okay, we'll wait for this traffic to go by because it's like that car there. Switch lanes. Last thing we need to do is cut on out there and get ran into. Alright, after this yellow truck. I'm sure Nightbot will make it its appearance. Don't worry. It's still early.
crazy. There you go. Good job, Kaya. You brought out Nightbot. Yep, that's your first offense. Your next one's gonna be 600 seconds. We'll be on the lookout. Everybody's gonna be turning here. Sure enough. I know you do, Kyle, but one of these times you're gonna be messing around a little too much. <laughs> Yeah, like when you get timed out for 600 seconds. too much. I've been put on timeout by him oh, five to six times. <laughs> yeah, you, you've been uh, put on timeout quite a bit. Alright, I think we're going to have to pass some of these cars here after this hill or this car and then the truck, maybe two trucks. This California, eh, it looks like California. Let's just slow down now. There's California. Home of 55 miles an hour. <laughs> uh oh. What do you got up your sleeve now, Kyle? Well, I guess that's one way of doing it, but, uh, yeah. Please don't be doing it that often. <laughs> uh, I don't really know. I mean, it's been a while since I've actually had ice cream. And I, I usually get different stuff. Pretty much every time I go. I don't know. I think pretty much anything that has like maybe peanut butter and chocolate. You know like a. Like a moose tracks or something with Reese's. <laughs> yeah, be careful there, Kyle. Oh, I'm gonna slow down. I 
forgot this road's kind of dangerous going the speed limit. Yep, there goes our loan installment. I hope I had enough. Yeah, we, I should have had enough because I remember uh, we paid off one of our loans. So we only have three loans out instead of four. That's going to save us about two grand a day. Which is nice. Saved uh, saved a bunch of uh, money on interest that we were going to be paying on the loan too. Logitech G27 steering wheel pedals and shifter. Yep, let me slow down. Yep, Estonia, slow down a little bit. There we go. Right there. Every time we get our cruise set, we gotta hit our brakes for something. This is a bad road to try to be going the speed limit on. putting out the emojis. I don't know, Kyle. Emojiville? catching up to sure looks like it uh, do I have football like you asking if I have a football are you serious I was going this really going like 58 or 59 it's not my fault you're driving slow uh, I don't have any football games on my computer out of my way. I think he was uh, frustrated because there's no other cars on the road to get, so. He had to get me. Alright, let's get back on up to speed here. We honestly shouldn't have too much further to go. I wouldn't think we would. Try to get back up to speed here and get the cruise set. We'll take a look at how many miles we have left. All right. Got, oh, yeah, we still have quite a few, actually. 334 miles left to go. 
We're expected to be there in 8 hours and 40 minutes, which will be 10.30 p.m. Uh, but we are expected to need some rest in uh, about 4 hours. So we may need to stop for some rest before we get there. But we'll see and find out. No, you don't, Kyle. You don't need to keep flooding the chat with emojis. That's the reason why I put it in there for uh, a Nightbot. So that way people can't keep doing that. Right, so we still got a little over 300 miles left to go. I didn't realize this trip was going to be... Well, I mean... You got to think, though. We were in the very upper right corner of Nevada. And we're driving all the way down to the bottom left corner of California. Uh, what's up, Otto? How you doing today? Time to slow down. right lane no move into the right Ooh. this guy everybody's Tuesday today yeah the AI always likes to go about five miles under the speed limit eh, there goes a cop he didn't want to pull me over going the same speed as I was the other when the other cop got me That's all right, Kyle. At least it opened up to four lanes so I can actually get brown some of these. Uh, if it was me, he would have me in jail under a millisecond. Why is that? What would you be doing, like going as fast as you could. Uh, can we get around this guy? We're gonna try. Just in time, there's a WL line. Let's get back over. Uh, same old, same old. Yeah, 
And like I said, my uh, my day was actually pretty quick. It was a nice easy day. Tomorrow's gonna be easy, and hopefully Thursday. And I'm not sure if I'll be working Friday yet or not. If I'm not working Friday, then I'll probably do two live streams for you guys again, like I did last Friday. Uh, my first live stream will probably be anywhere between 11 and 12, roughly, give or take. It'll be late morning, early afternoon for uh, my full race Friday. And then I might try to get another live stream out for American Truck Sim. Uh, later on in the afternoon But I do have to get my boys this weekend. So if I don't get the two out um, I'll at least get the full race Fridays out for you guys How's it going Jake and we are hauling some clothes from Elko, Nevada down to San Diego, California stream probably when we are done with this delivery because like I've said before on weekdays I only do one delivery unless it's like Thursday and I don't have to work on Friday then I might knock out two deliveries but on uh, normal weekdays um, I only do one delivery and tonight's stream is actually going to be a little bit longer than usual since I did uh, I did go over the mods before we took this job. catchphrases drama city you talking about like the come get some or are you talking about what it says please no spamming there for like when it has its little catchphrases when it times people out that's all night but I appreciate that Peter but I still make my mistakes and I, I know I still take some of these turns a little bit faster than I should and it's still choppy but I try to drive as legit as I can. Alright, so our Qualcomm is beeping at us here. Let's take a look at... we got four hours remaining of the trip. Up, down, up, down, up, down. 155 miles to go. We need a rest stop in about an hour. I might try to push the envelope here and see how far we can get before we actually start almost dozing off. Hey, 
man, the, where did this grass come from all of a sudden? How's it going? How you doing tonight? I remember I asked how to say your name. How do you say your name? I, I know I said a -N before, but how do you actually pronounce your name? Uh, yeah, Drama City. I got... It was kind of boring just having her sit there watching her phone all the time, so... I got rid of it and replaced her with a map and a cooler for drinks and stuff. So it's A-N? asked how you pronounce it. I know how you spell it. I'm just asking how you actually say it so I don't keep butchering your name. <laughs> Alright, A. I'll just call you A then since I can't say it right. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we're starting to see road signs. And I know our Qualcomm's been going off, but we haven't been starting to black out yet, so I'm going to keep on pushing forward here. What's up, Freak Alpha? How you doing today? Like SpongeBob. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not too worried about it, Drama City. Oh, there we're starting to black out a little bit. I think we should be all right, though. Got another two hours, a little over a hundred miles left to go. Let's see if we can push it. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I have no complaints. Another day of work for the week is done and over with. Like I said, I'm not sure if I have to work Friday yet or not, but if not, then I only have two more days of work this week. But if I do have to work Friday, then two and a half days of work left this week. <laughs> uh, we are heading out of Elko where we finished off the stream last night, and we are heading down to San Diego hauling some clothes. As we are getting tired. But we have less than 100 miles left to go, so we're just gonna keep on pushing. I should really start counting how many times it blacks out like that before it actually dozes off. So that way I know how far I can push when it starts blacking out. It'd be nice to know that kind of thing. 
What's up, Jesse? Heading down to San Diego. We're almost there. We got less than 100 miles left to go. Yep, yep, Drama City's got it. One of these times uh, we can find one of these jobs that'll take us all the way up to the northern part of California to pick up some of these other cities. I mean, it's going to be a pain to have to drive straight up through California, but that's all right. Uh, not really, drama. No, I don't, Peter. I... I trade her in for a map. I figured if uh, something's going to sit there and not do anything, it might as well be a map. <laughs> Since nobody uses maps anymore and we got the GPS. It's being just as useful. And that way I don't have to look over like this and just see her sitting there staring at a phone. Um, I did find out that with that uh, accessory pack that I got, that I showed you guys at the beginning of the stream, um, there is a dog, there is a cat, and there's a bunch of other things that you can put in that passenger seat, and you can put the dog or cat on the floor, um, but I just didn't like the texturing of it, it was just... I don't know. I mean, the dog's sitting there with its mouth open and its tongue, tongue hanging out. And it's like, all right, um, there's no animation to it. And a dog just doesn't sit there with its mouth open and tongue hanging out all the time. So I was just like, nah. So I decided to just go with the map. One truck coming from that way, and stupid bush. I can't really see what's coming from that way. That guy's turning, so he's going to be held up for a little while. Yep, post looks clear to me. Yep. For the next few seconds it is, anyways. We are almost there. Watch us pull into the parking lot and that's when we actually doze off. I'd laugh. There we are, stopped completely at a red light just for it's turn green. Who was just talking about that the other day? I forget who that was. 
Somebody was just talking about how that irritates them that that uh, they pull up to a red light and as soon as they actually come to a complete stop, the light turns green. Uh, don't jinx myself with what, Drama City? Oh, about passing out? Yeah, we're almost there. We should be all right. say Tor tortilla I don't know can't see tortilleria tequila okay all right and our delivery point is right here at the uh, looks like a 42 print All right. So now where do we got to park this thing? What's up Kyle? What did you do? Get timed out or did you actually just take off? Um, why does it look like we're going to have to back this in? I wonder if we're going to have to back it in or if we have to... I'm going to pull straight in first and hope for the best. I don't know if we're going to have to back this in or not. Sure looks like we're going to have to though. Oh, no, we don't. Sweet. All right, let's set this parking brake here. So yeah, there we go. Go ahead and cut our engine off. And let's decouple our trailer. Ah, you got timed out. Good job, Kyle, good job. <laughs> All right, so other than that one speeding violation, we had no issues. Uh, since we took the traffic mod out, we didn't have anybody hit us. We didn't have anybody slam on their brakes in front of us. Well, we did, but not as often. So, uh, with that being said, we went 850 miles and took up 181.7 gallons of fuel. And we made a little over $20,000 and 915 experience points. So there we are, over halfway to level 23. Uh, we now have $25,277 in the bank because our loan installment was taken out. Um, so, as you can see, we only have three loans now since we did repay one of them last night. Um, so yeah, we have, uh, what, 17 more payments to go on that one, and that one's going to be taken off. If we can get enough money in the bank, we can just take it, take care of it completely and save some money on the interest. What's up, T? Uh, let's take a look at our drivers. See how they're doing. So I want to keep an eye on them because if they... Once they max out the hazardous cargo right here, then uh, I'm going to switch from the hazardous cargo to balanced. So as you can see, she just got her fourth one. So she's actually moving up a little bit faster than Jacques is. So they're both the same now. 3.3, as you can oh, see right here. What's up, T? Thank you for the subscription, man. Appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Uh, all right, Kyle. Have a good night. Hey, it's no problem, Peter. So... So yeah, she's only got two more levels to go, and we can put her on the balance, so that way she can start filling these ones out. And Jacques still has, he might be about ready to level up, hopefully, so he can get that fourth one. 
So, like I said, once they get those taken care of, then we'll put them on balanced and start filling out the rest of these. And then there's us. So, so anyhow, we uh, did that. Truck manager, there's nothing really to do there. We went over the bank. Uh, company manager. And, yeah, there's no new upgrades since we haven't uh, leveled up, so... So anyhow guys, that is going to end the stream. If you guys missed the beginning part of the stream and you're wondering what mods I use, go ahead and you're going to probably have to wait until uh, the video actually processes. I don't know if you can take this all the way back or not to the very beginning, but I do go over all my mods that I currently use. So if you guys want to know what mods I use, go ahead and stop back when it's posted and processed and everything. And uh, you guys can actually go ahead and pause the video and stuff like that. So that way you guys can, you know, cross-reference with whatever mods you guys might be using if you play the game. Or if you guys want to use some of the mods, you can go to the Steam Workshop and find them. Because that's all where I get my mods from. So I don't use any third-party websites for any of my mods. Every mod you see here on my, uh, my channel or in the game that I play... Um, you can find every single one from the Steam Workshop. So, anyhow guys, that's going to conclude this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. And just like always, if you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And go ahead and share this with Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, you know, anything. So... I hope you guys have a good night, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. So until then, guys, have a good night, and I'll see you on the road. Take care, everybody.